published report says a shuttered school in the Woodlawn neighborhood will be put to use for a home for newly arrived migrants. Eric Rung is in the newsroom with details. Eric. Well, good morning. Multiple news outlets now reporting the city will turn the vacant Wadsworth Elementary School into a temporary shelter. Nearly 4,000 migrants have been bused to Chicago. The plan to turn Wadsworth School into a temporary shelter was slammed by mayoral candidate Willie Wilson, who said in a statement the mayor had not been transparent with the community about the plan and had originally said the school would not be used for a shelter. The mayor just asked the state for $54 million to continue funding emergency services for the migrants. The 20th Ward Alderwoman, Jeanette Taylor, who has had words with the mayor before, told the Sun-Times that she expects protests over the temporary shelter and will be standing right next to those demonstrating. She told the paper there are concerns about safety and having the right support organizations in place to help the asylum seekers. She is quoted as saying, it's a big mess, and if we don't do this the right way, we are doing more harm to the community on both sides. The Sun-Times reports the old school could house about 250 people. Now, I have checked in with the mayor's office this morning for a statement. So far, I haven't heard back just yet, but of course, it is still very early. We're live in the newsroom. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.